you're wondering, well, what am I going to do with all that scrap? And I wanted to explain to you my scrap management and how I keep it under control. Stick around and I'll show you what I'm doing with all those leftover fabric for my quilt kit. Hello, my name is Kate and today we are going to be talking about scrap management and what I do with my leftover fabrics. How I keep my scraps under control without it taking over my sewing room. So I'm going to show you a few ways of how to get rid of yours and I hope this video will, will encourage you to kind of look around your sewing room and see how you can better manage your leftover fabrics and I'm going to show you everything or my work in progress um, that I'm currently doing. Stick around. Wow. This is our current sew along right here. I wanted you to see, I put it up here on purpose so you can kind of see the progress of how the colors are going. I'm going to step up the camera and show it this way so you can kind of see the progress of how they are looking and how the colors kind of play together. So on this block right here, I have a real life oops. See how this is? I didn't realize that I made a mis I was making a mistake. I flipped my half square triangle and um instead of instead of them going this way, like this facing this way, I flipped it in all four corners so i need to go back and fix it to make it look like this i mean people that have been sewing for a long time still make common mistakes like this anyways i digress let me go back to what i'm talking about i'm talking about scrap management today i know you're wondering what does she how does she manage her scrap how do i manage my scrap i um i don't have a lot of scrap build up in my sewing room. I manage my scrap by only cutting what I need 99% of the time. If it says cut five, five squares, I'm going to open up my fat quarter and I'm going to only cut five squares. I am not going to cut a strip of fabric. I will cut five squares and I will fold the rest and I will put it back. So, so far, the scrap that I have right now the fold away from all this behind us like the half square triangle that's left over when we do like a, a flying geese these are all of it so this is it right here all nice and cut and pressed and i can use it again and i am going to use it on this same quilt right here because it's called some of the um, blocks are um there are like flying geese or pinwheel so i will take these right here and i will use it as my pinwheel that will be a filler in this quilt so that's one way i manage my scraps okay first thing first i'm going to be sewing the pressed flower and um, from fat quarter shop i'm going to be sewing along using the leftover fabric from bonnie and camille quilt b um, quilt uh, kit the leftover this is the leftover fabric. I'm going to be using these to make my pressed flower quilt from Fat Quarter Shop. That's the first thing I'm doing with my scraps. Even though we are halfway through the year, it's not too early to be thinking about the holiday. Yes, the holiday. Holiday, which is like the fall holiday, Halloween, Thanksgiving, fall, Christmas, all of the good stuff, right? So with my scrap, from the Halloween um, quilt that I made. This is my leftover and I'm sewing my leftover with this. Now this block right here is from um, Pat Sloan. She had in 2021, she has that March Hope block, a block a day and it's called this. Okay, so I have it here. It's this right here the it's on her website so if you go to her website it, and if you can't find it just type up pat sloan string bean challenge it's a free pattern 
and it is a great way to get rid of your scrap like if you want to sew up your scrap using like you know two and a half inches or whatnot this is a great way i've already made up one block of that and this is what it looks like right here i'm going to put it bring it closer this is what it looks like so i'm going to sew this and this is what it looks like it's called a uh, string bean challenge so if you want to sew along you can go to her website and you can download and print this um the quilt along in the pattern and how to sew the block so that's what i'm doing with that and then so sewing up my scrap i also am sewing the same thing using my leftover from one of my son's um quilt i made him a spider-man quilt and I've already sewn all of it using that same block pattern. So this is what it looks like on that. So I'm going to use the leftover and sew this up for him for like an everyday quilt so he can play with it. Then another sew along that I'm doing right now is, I guess work in progress, right? Yeah, that'll be a work in progress. So I'm doing the scrappiness is happiness and I am almost, I am actually done. So. I um, I want to show you something that I I have made all the blocks and on the flower one that goes on a rice right side right corner I am using like a panel from Sweetwater panel that I got in my box a few years back I didn't know what to do with it so I cut one of it up to sized and I am going to use it so all of it are done I'm, I'm going to be showing you what that looks like in the coming video so that's a little sneak peek right there and also the tulip pink um, leftover fabric i'm going to be using a pattern that's been out for quite a while and it is um, written by angela pingle and this pattern has been out for a while let me show you what that one looks like if you want to um, go ahead and purchase the pattern so you also can sew along with me i'm going to be using this pattern right here it's written by angela pingle and it looks like this right so that's what i'm going to be using the leftover to do if you want to get it it's on etsy and that's the pattern that i'm going to be using to sew up the tulip pink leftover scraps so i just wanted to just come here and just kind of give you uh, inspiration of how better how to better manage your scrap so it doesn't take over your sewing room and then you don't walk in your sewing room and just kind of like oh my gosh and then close the door and leave because you are unable to create because you have so much scrap so um, I don't have a lot of scrap because if I have leftovers I wait until I have enough and I sew it up so when I finish using all this scrap, then I will cut to like two and a half, um, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five and five and a half inches squares. And I put it in a little bin. So that's how I manage the leftover after I make something else from my leftover kit that I purchased. So um, like I was saying, kits do pay for themselves because I am using leftover from my kits to make another quilt, to make multiple quilts. So hoping this is an inspiration for you to kind of think outside the box or the blocks or the, the quilts. So you can also um, create something great with your leftovers so you can find that diamond in a rough inside your leftovers or inside your scrap so with that being said i hope you've enjoyed this um this video this is just a a pep talk video that's what i call it pep talk video so um you can kind of search in your sewing room this afternoon and say okay you know what i'm gonna gather and use up my scrap before opening a new bundle so that being said I hope you're having a great afternoon and don't forget to subscribe down below. And like I always do, I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.